three characters in short story. Bogdan, the elderly gentleman in the wheelchair, half asleep. And then there's Kev, who is a smaller, skinny boy, not the professional tennis gear outfit. And he has lost the game uh, to the bigger and more posh looking uh, Flo, who is in the other end of the tennis court. One has lost, one has won, but they both seem rather unhappy somehow. You know, there's a lot about like winning uh, in our society to be the best one, but this idea of winning is maybe not like always the best position to be in. People maybe want to win, to feel that they are alive, to feel that they mean something, to feel unique. But it's a little bit absurd when you think about like losing, it's like just a stronger feeling sometimes, you know, if it's about feeling alive. The situation is also encouraging you to think about was it a fair game? Because one boy is far smaller than the other boy. So maybe it was a far too easy match for the, for the bigger boy. Of course he would be, win that game. It's already in the cards. These moments can also be what is kind of creating your whole life. It's not like everything is equally important in our lives. That little childhood moment in your life might be the factor that determine how your life will be later on in life. It's a, an illusion that it's only up to you if you can make it or not. We think fairness has a lot to do with equal accessibility to the game. We've been describing the tennis court installation as a sort of diptych. You know, diptych is often painting based. Um, we see the tennis court also as a sort of painting. Uh, you have the white stripes on the orange-brown background and they're almost like a sort of grid-like modernist painting, if you will. Uh, but it's also split in two parts. Um, and a diptych is also often a portrait and here you have a portrait of the two boys, one on each side basically of the, of the net.